and also to show his people what happened when you go astray from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. This is Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might de be declared throughout all the earth. Right. The most high uh, used Pharaoh so that his name could be declared throughout the four corners of the earth. At that time it was the uh, eastern part of the world. And his name was declared. Everybody knew the, the power of the Israelites, man. But they didn't see it. This time, everybody's going to acknowledge it and see it, man. And, it, and they're going to know his name. And they're going to know he's the power of the universe. That's right. All flesh. Not just his people. The whole entire globe, man. Go ahead. Therefore, he hath mercy on whom he will have mercy. And on whom he will, he hardeneth. Thou wilt say un then unto me, Why does he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Right. Who has resisted the will of the Most High? Nobody. As Nebuchadnezzar. Right. <laughs> who had to go around like a cow eating grass. A king. You can't resist his will, man. Just like we couldn't. We didn't choose this life. The Most High chose us, man. Lord willing. To come out here and stand out here and prophesy to the wind. This is the Most High's will, not ours, man. Go ahead. Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing form say to him that formeth, form it? Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if God willing to shew his wrath and to make his power known, endured with long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. Right. Yay, man. So, so the most I do whatever he want, man. The most I got, basically, the most I is the part of you to clay, man. He created you out of the dust of the ground. He can make you whatever way he want to make you, use you for whatever, whatever purpose. And for, and in the case of the white man and in the case of the heathens, man, basically the reason why he set you up was so you could be a vessel of wrath, man, so that the Israelites and so that the elect and so that the rest of the nations throughout eternity could know this is what the fuck happened to you when you disobey the Most High, man. This is what the fuck happened to you when you speak proudly against the God of the universe, man. That's what it's about, man. And the white man is, like the scripture said, he is the basis of man. He is the, the weakest piece of shit on the face of the earth. And the Most High set him up over us, man. We're at the bottom and he's at the top. Just to show you people the, 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 the offenses you committed against the, the power of the universe, man. Because if you just, just look at the white man. He don't even look human, man. It's just that we've been westernized to, to think that he's superior to us. But if you just sit back and look at him, he has no melody. He has straight doggy hair, man. He smell like shit. He's frail. He can't... He, he sucks at sports. He can't sing. He can't dance. He got two left feet. But he's ruling over us. He'll, he'll get buried by the sun. Exactly. He, he ain't human. Like the elders say, the word human is a compound word, man. Uh, you color, man. man. He's a fucking piece of shit. Man. Hey, right. you, you're giving him too much. He's worse than a piece of shit, man. Shit could bring, shit could fertilize uh, the earth and yeah. bring bring a life, man. That piece of and fucking crack and worse than this shit, man. Yeah, man. The scriptures call him the son of perdition, which is destruction, man. Right. The son of death. And that's all so, he's done. That's, that's all, all he, he does, does bro. <laughs> like we always saying, we gonna keep saying it. We say it every year. Brother said every year. Name one thing that the so-called white man has done to benefit society or benefit mankind. Not one. Not one. And we still waiting on that, too. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right, and we just, that, hey, that's, that's a simple breakdown, man. Who is in control of the earth? The so-called white man. And when the scriptures refer to the wicked, nine times out of ten it's talking about the white man. 
The earth is be given into his hands. Go ahead. He covered, covered the faces of the judges thereof. Right. This is this the main way he did that. He covered the face of the judges thereof. And not only did, do, did he do that, he covered the faces of the judges there because scriptures tell us that the elect are going to judge the world, man. So he covered the faces of these people as well, calling himself a Jew, man. That's treason, man. If not, where and who is he? Right, if it's not the so-called white man, you show me who the wicked is. You show me who, who changed the faces of the judges thereof, man. Who did that? So-called white man. And all you Uncle Tom ass niggas scared to say that. But we're here to tell you, hey, the most happen to get rid of every last Uncle Tom and every last coon. Right, right, right. Everyone that is found going on to the Right. We're gonna get your ass thrusted through in whatever way. And we're gonna bring out ways that you can be thrusted through. Perfect. I got you. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 27. All thi all these things are for good to the godly. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. Verse 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right, and one of those spirits is the so-called white man. And the most high gonna take take the chain off, like how you got your pit bull, he gonna take that, uh, that uh, chain off his neck real soon, man. And let him loose on you people, man. Go ahead. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right, they appease the wrath of him that made them. Who made them? The Most High. That's right. Those are all those so that's the reason the white man is doing what he's doing, to appease the wrath of the Most High. Why? Because the Most High is pissed off with all humanity, man. But the scriptures tell us he long suffering. But that long suffering is coming to an end. Huh? Go ahead, huh? Proverbs 16 and 4. Hold on, all right, you got a little more. Uh, verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Right, and one A, like that, what I was showing you, uh, that, that, uh, that monster, uh, yeah, the Montauk monster. Y'all brothers, look that shit up, man. God, God. That's in Long Island. Right. Oh, I Long see that Island. shit. That yeah, shit that washed Monster. up. Yeah, what's the name of that island? Oh, 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 oh. Nah, now you think about the movie, Dr. Monroe. Plum Island. Yeah, Plum Island. Yeah, yeah. No, it washed yeah. up. It washed yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because they just found. They, I seen that yeah. shit with the hippo head yeah. and the alligator body. Yeah, they found another one. Yeah. And they found a new species of fish last night. And that shit huge as hell, but it looked like a fish. It was on the news last night, man. The Lord got plenty of things out here that, that we don't know. Wait till Leviathan comes out. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. the scriptures say creatures human created, man. Yeah. 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 And then we seen them. Yeah. Scriptures say, hey, man, hey, there's not one uh, falsehood in this Bible, man. Everything the Most High spoke of, we seen it coming to existence, man. Right. Hey, that Montauk monster, man. That shit, cra hey, that shit got a body like a. Like a uh, gorilla, but shaped like a lion. Like, man, look, man. That shit gonna be tearing you niggas up, especially you, you coon ass niggas out there in New York, man. Right there by New Jersey and Plum Island and shit, man. Because uh, the ball was like, oh, yeah, these African animals gonna escape. All right. Every time I say, nah, the white man gonna let them shit stop, man. Everything in the fucking park. Go ahead. This Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord has made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Right. The day of evil. What's the day of evil? Somebody give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 37. Oh, Create the wicked for the day of evil. Who's the wicked? The so called white man. I'm there. Got it? Go ahead. It's Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Elias, for, the day, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off his, thy neck, and will burst thy bonds 
and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Let's get on that right now. Yeah, man. Them days right there, those days where the Most High uses these Edomites as as uh, 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 as his, his 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 weapons of cruelty on you two thirds, man. Those are the days of Jacob's trouble, man. Cause them Edomites, they ain't just gonna be coming around chopping your necks, man. They gonna be pushing that chip, and that's a part of Jacob's trouble to see where your faith at, man. All right, these so-called white people, they not here to be your friends, man. Those were your natural born enemies, man. And that's what you people fail to understand. It's been like that since the inception of this, of this, uh, 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 this, of, of the Most High's movie, and it's gonna be like that at the end of this, man. Uh, and that's what we come out to tell you. Whether you're here or prepare, Jacob's trouble is coming. And the brother just brought out that he created the wicked for the day of evil, man. And hey, we haven't begun to see the white man's wickedness. We haven't seen. We ain't scraped the the, uh, uh, the tip of the iceberg yet, man. This white man from the pull the gloves off and the fucking horns about to come out, man. And all you people walking around with this dark side look, you're gonna be public enemy number one, man. Right. If you don't have the covered cast of your by Shim Yahweh Shah, you are doomed. And that's the that's the beauty of the scriptures. It's yay or nay. Straight up and down. Ain't no in-between. Ain't no half of you right and half of you wicked. You either all the way wicked or you all the way right, man. And for you know, just the way the Most High set it up, man, everybody got to wait until the end to figure out what it is, man. And the end is closely approaching, man. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. <laughs> Therefore rejoice, ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. Yeah, but we brought that out. That's the first picture we came out with. Yeah. And that's the spirit to bring it out again, man. The so-called white man is going to come down with great wrath, man. Right. Like, like never before. Somebody give me day 12 and 1, man. I got it right here. Spirit. <coughs> day 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Right, start right there. Get that sign up for me. Nah, let's say it right now. Come on. Hate to say it, but this was, this is like a walk in the park compared to what the Most High is going to come with. This is this was like a walk in the park, man. But the scripture said, say that read that part again now. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Right, and that's the reason why Michael gotta stand up. Because it's gonna be a time of trouble like never before. He's gonna have to stand up and come save his people. And who, is, who are his people? The elect men of the nation of Israel. 12,000 from each tribe. Plain and simple. The rest of you people going to die, man. Michael ain't standing for you niggas, man. He only standing for the men that's standing for him and the Heavenly Father right now. All the rest of you people is out of gas. Plain and simple, man. And at that time, that people shall be delivered Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right. Plain and simple. Lord, that's what we're doing it for, man. The hope that our names are written in this book. Meaning the 12,000 from each tribe, man. That's spoke of in Revelation, the seventh chapter. Because if not, sword destruction, man. Plain and simple. Now, this is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 3, verse 10. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart. Right, and all his words. Not a few, not the Old Testament only, not the New Testament only. All. Go ahead. Receive in thy heart, and hear with thy ears. Verse 11. And go, get thee to them of the captivity, 
Right, those are the captivity are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's who we come out here for. And only the elect of, of those people, man. But the scriptures tell us whether they shall hear or forbear. Go ahead. Unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, thus saith the Lord power, power, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Plain and simple, man. Why? Because, hey, <laughs> the Most High going to be blameless in all situations. He warned you, but you didn't listen. Because in the times of old, when the prophets came out, man, people got scared, man. Like, oh, shit, what the Most High got to say now? <laughs> real, man. Are you coming in peace? Yeah. Are you coming, coming in peace? Down peace okay. Okay. But now, that, that just show you how fucked up it is now. People don't even acknowledge that, man. And they see, hey, they seen it throughout the four corners of the earth. Men standing on the corner with garments on, telling them that the Most High is coming back. But that just show you why, the, further edifying why the Most High got to destroy this shit, man. Word. This Jeremiah, it's Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause them to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. God, there ain't no broken arrows, man. Why? Because the, the pride of your heart Esau has deceived you, man. So now the Most High setting up his mighty men that been that boat, man. And they gonna shoot them nuclear missiles on you, oh, hey, on your power structure. You crumble that shit, man. And then you, you never gonna rise again. And on top of that, like I said before, your ass is going into slavery for a thousand years, and then you're gonna be erased, man. Plain and simple. We already know. We already know your fate, man. Get into the mess. Oh, all right, I got it. So, Joel five, chapter twelve. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Right, and their enterprise is to conquer the whole world and to put and, and get a chip in everybody. But the scripture say, look at that part again. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Uh -huh. And also, and also, it ain't, these people ain't making them nukes. But them nukes gonna be ultimately for, for uh, our salvation. You know? So you, you got Edomites making them nukes. And that's, um, they made them with their crafty hands. They, they um, scientists and they smiths. And that shit gonna go against them. Verse 13. He takes the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. Right. Uh, for the fraud, that's the wicked, that's the perverse, man. You so called white people. Right. So he's gonna use your wicked ass creation to destroy you. And then it, that just shows how wicked you are. Because it's gonna take nuclear missiles to take you out of power, man. It didn't take that to get Nebuchadnezzar out of power, or the Egyptians out of power. That's just showing how fucking wicked so-called white man is, man. But these people walk, they can't see it. But you, hey, we're here to tell you, you're going to see it. You're going to see the white man unleash his fury on you. You're going to see his wrath. And you're going to see why the Most High created him to be wicked. Because he's not going to spare nothing. Men, women, or children, period. And the only way you're going to make it is you got the spirit of your by Hashem, your Yahweh Shah. Man. Plain and simple. It's no, it's no, it's no amount of guns you can get. You can't save up bottled water. You can't stop food. It's nothing you can do, man. Build forts. <laughs> you can't build a fort around your crib. Nah, that ain't happening, man. But also another way, they crafting this gonna go against them, cause the more they, they fuck with our people. Well, as soon as they start trying to mess with the prophets, the quicker we out of here. So that's why we rejoice when they say they about to uh, start uh, shutting down the internet or, or whatever. Or uh, come after um, 
have, have world police. Right. Yeah, come after um extremists right. or whatever. We have good. Come after us. Cause soon, the sooner you do, the sooner we out of here. That's great. Like you told Elijah, don't worry, Elijah. I done saved seven thousand prophets. You know what I'm saying? That haven't been the need of all, man. And them prophets are here today. And the Most High is gonna keep His word. He gonna keep His word. So like the brother said, as soon as they start coming after the prophets, this shit over with, man. So we like bring that shit, man. Come on. Ready to get the fuck out of here. And and that, and you see how everything just play into itself? How can you how can you fear knowing that when they start coming for for you, that, that means it's over with, man. So there's no need to have fear, man. The righteous are what? Bold as a lion, man. And we ain't got no guns, no nothing, but we that important. Right. And we come out here every week and commit treason against so-called white man, the destroyer of the earth. And we come do that shit boldly every week. What? You know, hey, white man can send a uh, CIA agent come and grace one of us with no problem. And nobody know what happened. But the reason you can't do it, because we're covered by the blood, man. What? Plain and simple.